The Memory Journey, A Tale of Simple Words In the small, quiet town of Wordville, young Alex lived with a peculiar challenge. Words often slipped through his fingers like grains of sand. Every time he tried to remember simple words, they seemed to vanish as soon as he needed them. One day, determined to overcome this problem, Alex embarked on a journey to learn the secret of remembering words. Alex's first stop was the town library, where he met a wise old librarian named Mr. Page. Remembering words is an art, Mr. Page said with a twinkle in his eye. To make them stick, you must connect them to something you know. He handed Alex a book titled The Memory Map. As Alex opened the book, he noticed something magical. The pages glowed, and he was pulled into a fantastical world where words were alive. Each word had its own character and personality. Chapter 1 The Land of Pictures Alex found himself in a meadow filled with pictures. He saw a cat lounging by a tree and a boy kicking a ball. A soft voice spoke from behind him. It was Sketch, a friendly brush-shaped creature. If you want to remember words, picture them in your mind, Sketch said. Think of a cat, not just the letters, but its soft fur and bright eyes. See it, and the word will stay with you. Alex tried it. He thought of his neighbor's orange cat, Whiskers, and said, Cat. The word felt stronger in his mind. Chapter 2 The Sound Forest Next, Alex wandered into a forest filled with whispers and echoes. Each sound seemed to repeat itself endlessly. A bird named Echo hopped down from a tree and chirped, Say it out loud. Say what? Alex asked. Words. Words are easier to remember when you speak them. Repeat them like a song or rhyme. For example, ball, tall, wall. It's fun and sticks to your memory like honey. Alex started to hum, cat, bat, hat. The rhythm made him smile. Chapter 3 The Place of Connections Further along, Alex arrived in a bustling marketplace where words worked together. A young woman named Link greeted him. Words love company, she explained. To remember one, connected to another. Think of a sun shining over a hill. Together, they make a picture, a story, or even a feeling. Alex imagined a glowing sun casting warm light over a green hill. Sun and hill, he whispered. He felt the words weaving into his memory. Chapter 4 The Practice Arena in the heart of Wordville was an arena where people practiced using words. A cheerful coach named Repeat shouted, Practice every day. Use your words in sentences, games, or while talking to friends. Words love action, and the more you use them, the more they stay. Alex joined a game where he had to describe objects without saying their names. It's round and bounces, he said, laughing when everyone guessed, ball. The return to reality. When Alex finally returned to the library, he found himself holding the memory map. The journey had felt so real. He thanked Mr. Page and hurried home to practice what he had learned. From that day forward, 
Alex no longer struggled to remember words. He saw them as pictures, sang them like songs, and connected them in stories. Words became his friends, always ready when he needed them. And so, the boy who once forgot words grew up to be a storyteller, sharing his adventures with others. His stories inspired many, teaching them that the key to remembering words was simple, see, say, connect, and practice.